Good evening and uh, welcome to this discussion. Um, we have this question um, that uh, the diameter of a metal bolts produced by a factory is normally distributed to the mean of 5 centimeters and a standard deviation of 0 0.4 centimeters. Any bolt whose diameter is less than 4.8 centimeters or more than 6.2 centimeters is sold at Kenya shillings 42. Otherwise, the price of the price is 64 Kenya shillings. If a customer orders 110 bolts from the factory, calculate the amount of money he is likely to spend. Hmm. So let us see how we can tackle this equation. Um, this is a question of the normal distribution. So they are saying that uh, the means so we can scale this. That has a mean of five centimeters. A standard deviation of 0 0.4, 0 0.4 centimeters. And then they are also saying that um, in a pole whose diameter is less than 4.8. Uh -huh. 4.8. So if it's a chalk of less than 4.8, then it's this area. And then, or more than 6.2. Uh -huh. When they talk of more than 6.2, then it's that area. He sold at 42 Kenya shillings. Otherwise, the price is 64 shillings. So meaning that the poles, the poles in, in shaded areas are sold at 42 shillings. And the remaining unshaded area is the, 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 the poles that are being sold at 64 shillings each. If the customer orders 100 and 10 bolts, calculate the amount of money is likely to spend. Now, <clears throat> uh, this is a normally this day. This is a question uh, from the normal distribution. Now, we need now to change this equation into normal standard curve by using the formula. Remember, this is 6.2. Hope so. Um, yes, yeah, 6.2 centimeters. Now we change this one into normal standard curve by by using the formula set equals to x minus mu all over standard deviation. So we shall change this and that. So I can take this one as set one would be equal to now. X here is 4.8, is this one, minus mean, which is 5, over standard deviation, which is 0 0.4. So this equals to, I can use the calculator, 4.8 minus 5 divided by 0 0.4. Aha, so this equals negative 0. 0.5 and then we can also get that set to equals to now x which will be 66.2 minus mean which is 5 over 0. Point, 0. 0.0.4 which is the standard deviation so we have 6.2 minus 5 divided by 0. 0.4 so this equals to, to 3. So what we are saying here is that now the standard normal distribution curve will be this. The mean of standard normal distribution curve is always 0. So and now this one is negative 0 0.5 and this one is 3. Now with the standard normal, we can be able to read from the table. 
So <clears throat> we shall read the table, this area and this area. So the area, area for z equals to negative 0 0.5. And now read off. Zero point five, the area will be zero point one nine one five. I remember this area is the is the unshaded area. Then we can also get this the unshaded area there where z equals to three. The area will be um the area will be zero zero point four nine eight seven so total total area we added the two which is point four nine eight seven plus point one nine one five sixty nine point sixty nine point zero two or this is equals to zero point six nine zero two which is the same as six nine point zero two sixty nine point zero two percent <clears throat> now sixty nine point zero two percent is this area the unshaded one now to get the the shaded area remember the area under the curve is equals to one or is equals to a hundred percent. Now that the the unshaded area is equivalent to sixty nine point zero two percent, therefore the shaded area if we could now take a hundred minus sixty nine, take a hundred minus sixty nine point zero two. So the shaded area equals to thirty um thirty point it is thirty it will be thirty point nine eight it will be thirty point nine eight so that is now the shaded area now remember the shaded area they say that uh go back to the question They are selling 42 per point. Now we need to find now this is how many points are they. So remember the customer ordered 110 percent. So we get 30.98 of, of that. So 30.98 over 100 times 110. So these are approximately that four that four poles. So if this represents that four poles, then what about sixty-nine? So we take one ten minus that four. So um sixty-nine sixty-nine point zero two percent will represent 76 poles. Now, we can now get the total
total amount the customer is likely to pay to be 76 times times 64 plus plus 34 times 42 So the customer is likely to pay six thousand two hundred and ninety six or ninety two shillings. Now, the most important part of this equation is <coughs> is for us being able to uh, to convert this one the standard normal distribution curve, and we normally convert this one by the use of this formula z equals to x minus mean all over a standard deviation so once you convert this one into standard normal curve like this then you are able to read from what from the table otherwise the way it is you cannot be able to read from the table so convert this into the standard normal curve like that then be able to read from the table the areas and once you have done that understand the question and um, you put one answer it correctly. So in this case, uh, this is how we're gonna uh, solve this equation. Thank you for watching and listening.